wind is blowing. I haven't got much time. Normal story. I give it a couple of costs, yeah. I get a gurney or something on the bank here. First cast on the river prawn. Yeah, this thing is going. Definitely not a gurney. Oh. First cast on the river prawn. A grandfish, okay. I fell out Tim, but it's a grandfish. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of fell out fish lately. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You got so many spikes, man. Mm. That's him. And Grunter. First cast on the river prawn. And I didn't bring a rag, so I'm sure there's hundreds of them lying around here somewhere. Something else, yeah, this must be a gurney. I think I've had three costs. Uh, three costs, three costs, two fish. Oh. This is the fun part of these things. Trying to get them without getting spiked. I'm gonna hold them tight. There you go. Fish number two. And three casts. Let's go a little bit further down. What I'm using here is a 116th down eagle claw jig head. Okay, this one's gone through a bit of the wars. That's a Pro V finesse jig. Very, very sharp little hooks. And a beautiful, it sits beautifully on this little river prawn. Yeah, I've got a eight pound, this is eight pound, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, finesse braid with a, this is a 15 pound leader. There you go. Go further down. All right. About five meters further down now. This is a there's a sand bank across there. Maybe there's something on that sand bank.
back in this morning. Oh, mate, that's again, it's just on the stop off there. Well, it seems to be further down this morning, I'll have to go back and start in the beginning there again, in the corner. Hey? It's something, something I'm trying, it's like a it's like a scent that's like oil. Uh, I don't know if it works, I just picked it up at one of the shops I think last week. Yeah. So yeah. I saw the American guys use it. Yeah. Normally the best time for fishing is as that water's running us pulling these little bait fish and everything down yeah. But they'll probably be just around the corner. Oh, yeah. oh I got a walla walla bait on now, Let's see what happens. Wow, somebody's lying there. We don't catch it. I like this uh, big glow colours. Chartreuses and things like that. Now the cob should also be a uh Uh, Willem. So you guys do it, like, let me give it a bash. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's good fun and you don't get all smelly in there. Come on, man. Oh, I missed it. Right there. 
and go with a three inch maybe or four inch jerk shad. just grabbed the tail but oh, they've killed this thing already eh? yeah <laughs> I was trying to find a I don't think I've got oh, I got the little flashy spoon and see if I can't get a walla walla on a flashy spoon oh, there it goes and I think I cast it right to my join I had 10 pound on before and I joined it with 8 pound yeah, there's my join right here. This is a little 15 gram flashy spoon. I'm not really, oh, just got hit there. This hook might be a bit too big for these guys. What I'm doing is just letting it on the ground, so I'm using it like a slow jig. Where did it fall? Sure, there's some big chasers here. I'm going to go back to the paddle tail. It looked like a Garrick or something chasing right here. Trying to catch a bird there. I'll have one more cast of a spoon and then I want to go try and fish or whatever this was that was chasing right down the bank here. So, there it goes. Right across to the blue boat. Rating on this rod is 20 grams, so 15 gram spoon is not a problem. Um, hey, got a knock there again. I think it's just mullet that I'm going through. Another chase, right? Yeah. Definitely something around now all of a sudden. There's a chase right in front of me here. Yeah. I've got something like a packet on you or something. Came off whatever it was. Those fish have moved in here now. The spoon has gone sideways, I think that's the problem now. Yep, that's the issue. Okay, I'll have one more cast. Stop it before it went too far. Child off. Child off. Oh, I just got child off there by Walla Walla. And I was heading back because I left my leader line and everything in the car. Um, 
but uh, I can see this front is moving in very quickly here and uh, I'd rather get to work and get things done so I'm gonna give it a up for today I can hopefully try try it right um, here it bled again I fished this morning in the bay didn't stay very long it's lunchtime now tide is coming up I'm gonna give it five minutes here and see what happens I decided to start the point here you see it's quite busy here yeah? everyone looking for grunters It's not too bad, yeah. I'm going to push in. Oh, big rats. These rats could eat you, yeah, they're so big. Must be Pompano around because everyone seems to be fishing a sea last. Oh, oh, I got hit uh, big time. Now, into something big, yeah. Very big, yeah. Sorry, I didn't form that. Looks like it's a cob, maybe. I don't know what that is. I only had one cast off this. So it's up and down and yeah. And go on the side there. It's a skate. Skate. There you go. Skate. Yeah. I don't like catching these things. Tim, I don't know how to handle these things without getting nailed. Hey? Oh, that's it guys, my, my 10 minutes turned into 20 minutes. And uh, I need that little skate I hooked. I've been getting a lot of hits, but they're very, very small kingies. So, see them all up and down here. That's a mullet here too. Oh, unfortunately, that's perfect at the moment. Any Garrick or anything will be in here. This is going to be it. But, I gotta get back to work, so that's it. I'm gonna have one more cast. And have one more cast on that point there. Oh, I don't even know where that went. Somewhere in that hectic current there. And uh, yeah, and that's it. I gotta get back. Sorry, it's such a short time today. Hopefully, tomorrow I'll find some time.